Mr. Cantu, and I have some great news here for online marketing for real estate professionals. This is our weekend wrap-up show for the week of January 5th, 2015, brand new year, and we've got some really cool tools that we want to share with you. So, hope you're going to take some notes because there's some amazing stuff happening your way. I want you to take note of it. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Lots of good stuff in the news. Miami is really, really hot. And if you know the Brooklyn investors are actually going into Miami right now and they're buying up a lot of different properties, a lot of luxury condos are uh, available. And this has also attracted a lot of, um, a lot of uh, hoopla from the art market and also the Basel Art Exhibition, International Art Exhibition. And then we also got the Food and Wine Show that's coming up there in South Beach. And what we're finding out now is that this place is just red hot. And uh, it was just yesterday, there's a lot of Chinese investors taking interest in this type of property. So, very, very cool stuff. And the question is, how can you partake in that market? And uh, so we're talking about that today. I've got seven tools I want to share with you. And you'll be very, very blown away. This is uh, awesome stuff. Let's go ahead and get started. It's um, looking at the IDX sites. IDX is a standard for real estate professionals and uh, they're a little bit limited when it comes to SEO and what is SEO? It's search engine optimization and it is limited in certain areas. I'm going to share with you some things that I've noticed about it. If there's anything out there that really drives me crazy it's the fact that JavaScript has a little drop down menus and there's a lot of content in there Search engine crawler bots have do they do have a problem getting in there in indexing categories and niche markets. So, if a lot of your content is is tied up in inventory and drop down menus, it is a problem. IDX has a lot of different drop down menus, and they also have a rotating inventory, which changes on a regular basis. So, actually indexing that site for a uh, like a specific area can be very very troubling. And what you want to do is build a frame around it. We got a new thing called an iframe technology, which is a really, really cool thing. You want to take your site, drop it into this box, and we'll share with you how to do that. You want to optimize that so you'll pop up in certain markets. What happens is your site will actually pop up. What is that? <laughs> Good timing. <laughs> so, um, your site will actually pop up in search engines, Yahoo, Google, and Bing. So make sure you actually look at that and how that works. What happens, we want to actually take control over different metadata and we actually want to introduce Google Plus and also Facebook OG tags, that's open graph. And that tag, that, those different types of tags need to go into your sites. So Facebook can talk to it and Google Plus can talk to it. And what happens is it's like a relay, it goes back and forth and your search engine rankings go through the roof. And it's pretty awesome. When you start putting WordPress in there, these things do kind of come together and really make a powerful impact. We've got some samples here with Dr. Ruffin from, where's she from? New Hudson, New Hudson, uh, Michigan. And she's a chiropractor. She built this complicated site that we didn't want to reproduce. And she just basically wanted to take that site and make it pop up in certain cities. And we did that for her for different categories for everything from childhood obesity to, uh, what was it, uh, bedwetting and <laughs> lower back pain. Same principle can be used for the real estate market and basically anything with a high inventory like automobiles, you know, real estate, this thing actually works and it's, it's incredible. So do think about how you can use this technology for your business and that is really, really important. That's number one, top of the list. Uh, also too, we've got a downloadable ebook here. It's absolutely free. Go to tedcantu.com slash what is it? Uh, RE underscore 2015.pdf. About a 40 page book of all the different screenshots that we'll be showing you on the screen here, as well as how to take your site and move it on the search engines and take it to that next level that you want to take it to. It's uh, pretty cool stuff, actually. And there's more tools in there than the ones I'm, I'm sharing with you, but I'm just going over the highlights. So, um, number two is are you using the right kind of WordPress? Probably not. Uh, a lot of people out there are using WordPress.com. They'll download a free WordPress site and they use that. But the problem is you can't do a whole lot of self-promotion on there. And if you do, WordPress will actually pull the plug on you. Uh, for whatever reason, that's their policy. You can't do a whole lot of self-promotion with a WordPress.com site. 
okay? But the WordPress software is unlimited. You can download that in your cPanel and put that into your website, if your website has a cPanel, of course, and you can install that and optimize it. Many different plugins out there for uh, everything from like Google Analytics for WordPress and there's an SEO extension. There's like thousands of plugins. Now, if you don't know what plugins are, those are basically little script um, bots or little scripted bits of code. You pop those into your site and what they do is they'll, they'll do certain functions for you. And it's a very, really cool thing, but the point is you want to actually use um, the right combination of plugins. It, it's easy to go overboard and it's, uh, it's, it's very, very powerful. I, I don't like WordPress in the sense that it's not very pretty to look at. A lot of times it's very, uh, uh, very clunky. It doesn't look like your actual website. So to get those two things to actually look like you know, they belong together is, is, <laughs> is, is tricky. But there are WordPress templates for real estate developers and real estate agents that are actually not that bad. Uh, they cost a little bit more. Uh, as opposed to free, they're about 120 bucks a piece, but they do look a little bit better. They don't always look like your own site, so keep that in mind. Um, there's a trade-off there, but you definitely do need something in that place. The WordPress software is really, really cool because every time you do a post on it, what happens is it creates a brand new page for you, drops it underneath your website, and actually helps your website go up in search engine rankings. So basically having the keys to the kingdom. You can do whatever you want with this thing, but you got to be responsible about it and, uh, and not too spammy. But uh, this thing does work, and it's very, very powerful. We've seen results happen as little as two to three days for certain things. And to take it back to my point about Miami and how hot it is, Miami right now only has 1.5 million search results for the luxury condo market, which is, you know, which is really awesome. My team recently helped the site go up from... Uh, I believe it was 133 million results in California, and that's, you know, we did that in a couple of days. But you have to know what you're doing, you have to know what you want, and it's, it's not, it doesn't always work for every platform. By platform, I mean blogs, websites, you know, Twitter. We did this with the word, uh, was it, it was a YouTube video, but still, it's pretty impressive, but we did that in 48 hours. So, uh, those are kind of the things that we do here at tedcantu.com, and check out our, our, results so we get more screenshots of some stuff pretty impressive but um, I want to keep it on track here for right now this is um, a really cool thing you want to put in your work your uh, your cPanel and the rankings are phenomenal you just got to configure it the right way if um, if you if you never tried this before you want to definitely check this out download the Google Analytics plugin for web traffic for your Google I'm sorry, your Google Analytics for WordPress. Got that? Okay. What happens is you can actually see people coming in through your, your um, WordPress in real time from social media sources like Facebook and Twitter. Got some screenshots of that we did for HotMetroFinds.com, which is a magazine site for music and culture, one of my projects. And we found people coming in and staying for as long as like nine minutes and looking at videos, reading articles, and this actually tracks the traffic inside your WordPress section of your site. And so now you've got Google Analytics for your top pages, your landing pages, but you've also got Google Analytics for your actual, you know, WordPress pages, which is incredible. And you can scale that once you find out what people are looking for, what they like. We had people coming in at 35 people per minute. We crank that up to 120 people per minute. This is all without doing Google AdWords. We didn't buy any kind of social media traffic from a vendor. These are real people in real time. And we actually ran a story about the rock group Queen and Adam Lambert of all things. And that really took off because we knew where the people were and we wanted to introduce them to our articles. And we did that very, very quickly. And um, that was awesome. So that was a really cool thing. And we actually had that cranked up to 215 people per minute. That's per minute. Those are real eyeballs. And you can always tell if they're real because of the extensions of the bots at the end. When you go through your Google Analytics, you can find out who's actually looking at your stuff, if it's real people or if they're bots. I hate bots in the sense that they're not real people. And sometimes we bought traffic from different vendors. I won't name their names because we've been in trouble over that. 
they um, send bots and they're scripted and they're not they're not real people. We only deal with real people, real traffic. So do keep that in mind. You can also find out how long people are staying and if they're coming from tablets, desktops, or the tablets and, and mobile devices. And that's a really cool thing to know. So you're not wasting your advertising dollars on nonsense. Okay? That's um, number three is uh, on the list next. It's called Social Searcher. Social Searcher. And that's for people that are looking for stuff in real time. It's a free site and the address is right there. And the cool part about it, what I like about it, it's people in distress looking for something in real time. Like, um, they could be looking to sell their homes, they could be looking to, uh, to rent a condo, they could be looking to, um, to move right away. And people like to complain, and they do it on social media all the time. This is like a spyglass on the web to find out where people are complaining about the most. It's a free tool, you, you, just, you don't have to log in, you just uh, type in what you're looking for and, and uh, people show up. You can type in my name. Ted can too. And some of my posts are actually things I just did a few minutes ago, like Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter, and they're they're live. So it's really awesome. And um, again, the results come in from Google Plus, Google, Facebook, and Twitter. And you can play with this in real time. Just I ask that you use it responsibly because it's a very, very powerful tool. And what it really allows you to do is cut first in line before anybody else to find out what they're looking for. You know, imagine if someone's trying to sell their home, or they want to get out of a, a home and they want to move into a new one, um, and they type that in. Uh, does anybody know of a good agent? Anybody know of a good, um, you know, company that can go with a good agency? You're going to be right in, right in line. You know, the first person uh, that they <laughs> that they contact, but you'll have to have a Twitter account and a Facebook account, whatever platform they're on, and contact these people directly. And it puts our whole new face on social media, what can mean. It makes social media real, if anything. So it's really awesome. So do check that out. Number four, my favorite keyword tool, and it's free. Here's the keyword tool right here you want to go to. You know, years ago, I used to actually go to um, WordZ, and it was also uh, Word Tracker, which is in the UK. And they're, they're great tools, but the problem was I had was that the, the metrics were really goofy. And they really weren't that accurate, so I never really knew if, you know, these things are being, um, you know, uh, the numbers are kind of wonky, as they say, and they didn't seem very accurate to me. But on this particular tool, you can type in like new home sales, and there's 45,000 searches per month. There's also luxury condo rentals at 54,500 searches per month, and you can actually take note of that, right? And if you know how to work the search engines really well, like, like what we're showing you here, we know that you can get in the top 40% of any particular market that you want, whether it be Denver, Colorado, uh, new home uh, sales out in Miami, uh, the Florida Keys, uh, Pompano. This is really cool, amazing stuff because this allows you to fine tune your marketing message, take your media and plop it on the search engine so they'll see it. Uh, it's, it's amazing. So. Um, there is another keyword tool for Google that is that is free as well. I don't like it because the engineers that made it had so many uh, drop-down menus and stuff in it that came up from the side, from the bottom, from the top, and it's goofy and it's hard to use. It's very confusing, and you only get about five results, at least when I looked at it, at one time. The old tool was better. It gave you a whole page of results. And that's what I want to do. I'm going to go through it quickly. I don't want to have to like look at five results. You know, it's it's clunky. Maybe they fixed it. I haven't gone back and looked at it because I had no need to. This thing is actually better because it also goes into uh, Google, Google Plus. What was it? Um, I think it was Facebook, Twitter, social media, uh, the YouTube channel, and it goes through apps. There's an actual thing there for apps. What's what people are searching for in real time which is really, really useful, and it's free, which is really amazing about it. How, how free is free? Uh, if you went to wordtracker.com, they charge you like 800 bucks for the whole year. I think that's what they, they wanted to pitch us, and we said no. Uh, <laughs> the intro was like 400 bucks to get in. It doesn't matter. I mean, if you got the money for it, great, but there's, um, there's other tools out there that are much better. I like them, and that, that works for me. 
Number five, Google Trends. A lot of guys don't know what Google Trends are. You know, google.com slash trends. It shows you what is trending on the search engines right now. Right now, this week, we got some stuff taken off in France. Not so good. We've got some, uh, you know, different things going on with the, with the winter storms coming up in real time. How does it help you? You can talk about things in real time and talk about things that are happening. You know, a lot of home improvement companies don't understand this. They'll do like, we're having a 10% off coupon. We're having a 10% off sale. You know, it's not in relevance to anything. No one cares about that stuff. But it, it's so commonplace and it's so vanilla and so, it just kind of goes under the radar. Google Trends will help you piggyback off a, of a story that's moving that people are looking at with real eyeballs in real time and create engagements. That's the most important thing you want to do is create engagements with people. So you have conversations. Don't just blurt out what's on your mind with no interaction. That's a free, that's a free thought just floating in the middle of space doing absolutely nothing. Aim it towards something and you're going to get a connection. Google Trends helps you do that. And it tells you where there's a hot market taking off. And also what I like about it, Google Trends will actually show you a map of the United States or really anywhere in the world because Google's global. It'll show you what's happening right now regionally and by city. So you can find out.